All right, so formulas. What are formulas? Well, formulas are just equations that relate two or more different things that we might measure. Um, they actually come up a lot, uh, and you can see them in everyday life. There are formulas for things like interest. Um, one formula that you might see if you were to take a science class would be F equals 9 fifths C plus 32. So this gives us the Fahrenheit temperature if we plug in the Celsius temperature. So it relates uh, the Fahrenheit, the temp a temperature measured in Fahrenheit to a temperature that we've measured in Celsius. We can get the equivalent Fahrenheit temperature. Um, another one you might see uh, in some of your other classes, and you probably use it in your everyday life and don't even know you do, is for distance. Distance equals rate times time. So if you're going to travel two hours in your car at 70 miles per hour, you would go 140 miles after two hours. So that is distance equals rate times time, where we use the D to represent the distance, the R to represent the rate, and the T to represent the time. Um, another one you could see, maybe you've seen before, P equals 2W plus 2L. So this one is actually for, do you recognize it, perimeter of a rectangle. The perimeter is just if we took, measured the distance on each side and added up all those distances, that gives us the perimeter of a rectangle. Um, and we can, a shortcut for that is to use this formula. Perimeter, the perimeter is equal to two times the width plus two times the length. And we can, what we can do is just put in the width and the length that we have and do the calculation and it will give us the perimeter of a, of a rectangle with that length and width. Um, another one, you can actually go online and find calculators that will calculate this for you, is B equals 703 times W over H squared. And this one gives us our body mass index, which relates weight to height. Um, some, some doctors will use it to see, you know, tell you kind of how healthy your weight is related to your height. Um, so be the body, your body mass index, you can calculate it by taking 703 and multiplying it times your weight in pounds divided by height in inches. So let's see how we can use some of these. Um, suppose you were in your chemistry class and you, met, you only had a thermometer that measured uh, temperature in Celsius. Uh, so, and you measured 35 degrees Celsius of some, I don't know, some liquid that, that you're working with. I mean, you were heating it up maybe. Um, so you have a temperature of 35 degrees Celsius and you say, to yourself, well, I wonder what that is in Fahrenheit. Um, so what you could do is you can use this formula that relates the Fahrenheit, gives us the Fahrenheit temperature if we have the Celsius temperature. And put what we do to evaluate this, we just replace the C in our formula with the 35 that we measured. So our Fahrenheit temperature would be F equals 9 fifths times 35 plus R32, just the exact same formula. All I did was replace the C with the 35. And now I just have to evaluate it. I can reduce that guy, and I'm going to end up with the Fahrenheit temperature is, we get, when we, when we do this multiplication, we get 63 plus 32, which would give me 95. And there we have it. So if I, <coughs> 30, if I have something measured 35 degrees Celsius, in Fahrenheit, that is, the same, that is the same as 95 degrees in Fahrenheit. Um, we could, uh, if we wanted to calculate our body mass index, um, suppose you had a friend, maybe, that had a weight of, let's say, 190 pounds and a height of 5 feet 10 inches, right? Usually we measure height in feet and inches. Um, so there's a problem here with you directly using our formula. Our formula, the height, isn't supposed to be in feet and inches. It's supposed to just be in inches. But that's not really too big of a problem because we know that each foot has 12 inches. So if I have 5 feet, 
if I take 5 times 12, that'll give me the number of inches that are in 5 feet. And then I add 10 to that. <coughs> That's my 10 inches. So I get 5 times 12 is 60, plus 10 more gives me 70. So now I've got my height, my friend's height in inches. So we've got a weight of 190 pounds and 70 inches. So that means I just, all I need to do is plug into my formula here to get the body max index. B equals 703 times my weight on 190 divided by the height, which we said was 70 inches, and then that has to be squared. So now all we have to do is evaluate this using what we know about arithmetic. Um, and so what we know about arithmetic, we have to take the 70 and square that first. So I get 703 times 190. Seven square, 70, excuse me, 70 squared is 4,900. Right. And then we would take and uh, multiply and then divide and we would get our correct answer. And that is how we use formulas to calculate um, values for things like body mass index and Fahrenheit temperature.